Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstoday.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. And students, today we are going to do the banking awareness for the first week of December 2023. And this is really, really important for your Bank of Baroda Scale 3, MSME Scale 3 exam, also for the Central Bank of India Credit Officer exam and SPI CBO exams, right? So very important uh, class that we are going to do. Let's start the session with the, let's just hide my face. This one is really, really important. RBI ups the financial year 2024's growth forecast to 7%. So in the monetary policy committee in the um, uh, at the time of RBI's MPC monetary policy committee, the repo rate has been unchanged at 6.5%. No major change at the repo rates, but uh, there is a growth forecast of 7%. So please remember this headline is only important, very important for your exam RBI ups financial year 2024's growth forecast of India to 7%. Very important for your exam. So GDP projection is 7%, okay, up from 6%. RBI hikes UPI limit for hospitals educational payments. So very important, I'll mark a star here. Jaha baby, I mark a star. Uh, that is really, really important. In the RBI's uh, bi-monthly monetary policy committee meeting on 8th of December, the UPI payment limit, I hope you are aware of UPI payment limit. I hope you are already using UPI for making day-to-day -day payments. Uh, what is the maximum UPI limit for general transaction? For normal transactions, the limit is 1 lakh rupee per transaction. 1 lakh rupee per transaction is the UPI transaction limit. But for some specific categories like capital markets, collections, insurance, for uh, the foreign inward remittances, the transaction limit is 2 lakh rupee per transaction. Okay, that is the second point. But for the educational uh, expenses, for the educational institutions and hosp hospitals, the limit has been increased to 5 lakh rupee per transaction, increased from 1 lakh. So it used to be 1 lakh, but now it is 5 lakh. And this is very, very important to understand, important to remember. It can be there. This question can be there in your exam. The UPI limit for hospitals and educational institutes has been increased from 1 lakh to 5 lakh capital market or uh, insurance and forward uh, foreign inward remittances ki already 2 lakh thi. any other transaction 1 lakh rupee was there okay the max healthcare to acquire starlet medical center in 940 crore rupee deal so that's something really um, not not that much important but still you need to remember that okay i'm not making marking a star here India's foreign exchange reserves crossed $600 billion after four months. So India's foreign uh, exchange reserves increased to $604 billion on 1st of December 2023. Uh, Mahua Mohitra's uh, so Mah Mah Mahua she is an MP uh, from uh, West Bengal representing the Krishna Nagar Lok Sabha seat uh, from West Bengal. Uh, she had she has been expelled from the Lok Sabha for misconduct, cash for questions, some misconduct allegations were uh, against her the, there in the in the Lok Sabha. She, so she had been expelled from the Lok Sabha. It is in the news everywhere. The Google launched the Gemini AI model, most advanced AI model on paper. It is easily beating chat GPT-4. So new AI chat model of Google Gemini AI model. So please remember the name, the Gemini AI. On 6th of December, the Gemini uh, is launched by the Google. Uh, it is developed by the combined efforts of their DeepMind and Google Brain teams. So it's going to rival OpenAI's chat GPT-4, okay. Bank of Baroda introduced uh, Bob Parivar account for savings and current accounts. So um, this is a new feature that allows customers to group their individual accounts under a single family or associated company and enjoy various benefits such as concessional 
interest rates, waiver of processing charges, concession in the locker rent, DMAT AMC and more. Okay, you can group your account and the, this feature, these features are all uh, are already there in the private bank. So Access Bank is already doing that. HDFC is already doing that. Now the private, uh, the PSU banks are following the steps of uh, private sector banks. <sighs> SBI card joins Bharat Bill Pay in the credit card category. So uh, the Bharat Bill Pay, it's operated by NPCI, right? Uh, for making your day-to-day -day payments, utility bills, electricity, water, gas, telecom, etc. Uh, people use Bharat Bill Pay. Now SBI card customer can use a credit cards to pay the utility bills such as electricity, water, gas, telecom, etc. So SBI card, they join the Bharat bill pay in the credit card category. And RBI cancel the license of another uh, urban cooperative bank, Sitapur, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, not really a big news because they were not able to do a profitable business. There was a lack of uh, net worth, network, network nahi thi. that is why they removed it. Every depositor would be entitled to uh, receive the deposit insurance claim amount of his or her de deposit 5 lakh rupees tak ka deposit uh, jo bhi unka hai us pe insurance hai DICGC wali to wo nahi milegi and as per the data submitted by the bank 99.98% of the depositors are entitled to receive their full amount ek do hi log honge jinko paise nahi milenge pure the world bank launched the various initiatives at cop 28 so first of all cop 28 held at dubai so please remember that and the world bank president ajay banga outlined a bold initiative on reducing methane pollution so bold initiative kis pe hai methane pollution pe bold initiative hai at cop 28 uh, held at dubai he announced the world bank will provide 1 billion dollar over five years uh, to help 20 developing countries reduce to reduce their methane em uh, emissions by 30% by 2030. And that is really, really important. A billion dollar World Bank Dega at COP uh, 20, uh, 28 held at Dubai. The World Bank President Ajay Banga, he told, uh, he proposed that the World Bank would uh, provide $1 billion dollar over next five years to 20 developing countries to reduce their methane emissions by 30%. So very important, please remember that. I marked a star here. It's very important. Please remember the amount, $1 billion. Uh, LIC notifies framework for appointment of shareholders, directors in the board. Uh, not that important. All scheduled commercial banks have written off around 10.6 lakh crore rupee uh, bad loans from their accounts. And Union Bank ties up with Accenture uh, for analytics based customer services. So important. The program will enable the bank to develop robust data visualization reporting capabilities including interactive dashboards and all. So Union Bank, they tied up with Accenture for analytics based customer service and l and uh, consolidates financial services into a single entity. So uh, l and Finance Holding will merge its four wholly owned subsidiaries l and uh, Finance Limited, l and Infrastructure Finance Limited, l and Housing Finance Limited, l and uh, Investment Management Limited. They'll all merge into l and Finance Holdings Limited. Yes, all of them merge. Okay. Uh, HDFC Securities, they launch a trading app called HDFC Sky. And this, this one is also very important, I would say. Okay, star is there. L uh, HDFC Securities, they launched the mobile trading app HDFC Sky on AWS Cloud. AWS Cloud is Amazon Web Services. So, HD, uh, it's a cloud uh, web hosting or cloud service provider, I would say. Even bank exams today, mobile application is running on AWS cloud. The mobile app that you are using, it is running on AWS. So HDFC Securities, one of the leading investment service providers, launched its new mobile trading app, HDFC Sky. Okay. So the investors, the traders, uh, they can use the HDFC Sky 
uh, which is using AWS cloud okay so lag come hoga lag waham pe low latency trading services would be provided to the traders and that's all for the week i hope you like the today's session bank of baroda scale 3 uh, manager msme course is already available on bank exams today in which we are providing video classes quizzes notes doubt clearing sessions test series and interview preparation course link to join the course is available in the description please check the course and um, this is a WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. Uh, and that's I guess all for today students. I hope you like the today's session. Uh, list of our successful students in the past and the students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. I'm really, really happy for them. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams. And I'm really, really happy for them. And that's actually all for today students. Thank you. And have a very nice day. Bye-bye.